than this. Um, things you learn. Uh, every bone in your body is a metaphor. <laughs> um, whoever it was who was deciding when they named the bones, they were just picking it out and figured this looks like something, right? Your scapula, which means a shovel, looks like a scoop, right? Um, your tibia looks looked to whoever was naming these like a pipe. Okay, that kind of stuff. There is one bone in your body, which obviously the guy couldn't come up with a metaphor for, and it's called the os anominatum, and it means literally the bone without a name. <laughs> <laughs> this is a poem about three bones right down your sternum. And um, down at the bottom there's a sort of a little kind of a cartilage piece more than its bone. It's called the ensiform. Um, and then uh, on top, there's a thing called a manubrium, which is a handle. And then what the poem is really about is the blade, which is the gladiolus, which those of you who know something about flowers know that that's a very small, long, thin sort of thing. So basically, you have a sword down the middle of your body here, at least according to the metaphor guys with the bones, all right? Um, the other thing in here is was a, a New York Times picture that I saw on the day that I found out that bones were metaphoric. And it was from uh, a burial ground of free blacks that was in the, uh, in the 18th century, well before there must have been. And it was a burial ground just for them that they, had, they were exhuming. And there was a, a body leaning up against in its coffin with its, with its arms crossed above its, above its chest, right? And all these bones were there. OK, so the, all right. <laughs> called Angel in the Making. There's never been a shortage of places the body wanted not to be. In the lifeboat, at the awards dinner, <laughs> under the tree after falling, in the tree hanging, in the box, in the box exhumed. Or here in a photo on an inside page of the New York Times, a skeleton from the African burial ground hands folded across his now collapsed chest. A gesture, the time says, meant to help the spirit find Africa again. And now scaphoid, the wrist's bone boat, rides in what was the heart's little harbor. And cuneiform, the wrist's wedge, and semilunar, the wrist's half moon, rises over the ocean. Remember how often the torso was just bloody cloth, the groin a red triangle, the arms fired and set adrift. That's over. Now fingers, wrist, ribs, spine are mixed, all crossed, all merely cups in the same cupboard. But spirit, you were right all along. The journey is a map of the body. Here in the backwash of the chest, above the inlet of the pelvis, north of the great and nameless Oz in a minotum, here at the sternum, you crossed your two lucky arms at the middle bone called gladiolus, north of ensiform, the false one, south of the manubrium, gladiolus, also called the sword of the body, once called the wild iris of Africa.